This is a branch, the Lat Creek. It's supposed to be difficult to cross. We'll see when we get down there. It's salty, so I can't get water here. Oh, I guess we'll run off. <laughs> Climbing for a while now. Getting to the top of something, maybe. These things have the tendency to be false little summits. You think you're there, and then you're not. Whew. Cool though. All you can say is, wow. I'm still hiking through the burn area. It is uh, definitely starting to regrow. There's green everywhere, saplings, everything's blooming. Then you have lots of dead standing burn trees, but it's getting there. A few more years and it'll be a nice little forest again. Climbing my way out of the Coe Creek area. Um, that's the drainage down there. And as you can see, great view of Mount Adams still. And that's where I'm heading. And I'm pretty sure it switched backs and heads that way. I got to get up over the top of that somewhere up there. We'll see. Oh, 
about 5,800 feet, still climbing. Beautiful country. And where I pointed to before was not actually the pass that I was going over. I got it fairly close and then they routed me all the way around some more hills. So we're still climbing. But every um, corner has a view. It's pretty incredible. Well, if you can see the switchbacks through the trees, I do believe that's where I'm heading. Yay! Very exposed. About 7,000 feet. Got to get up 350 more. Well, it's 5.22 in the afternoon, evening. I'm walking this knife edge. That's what it looks like down below. And back up to the mountain. I'm trying to get some place where I can tuck in for the night. We'll see. Well, good morning. It's day four and uh, Friday and uh, about 11 miles to go. Just broke camp. It's about 7 a.m. And uh, got a long decline uh, on the trail here. And then just to turn around and try to get it all back again. So, like I said, about 11 miles out to the car today. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to make that. Uh, we'll see if I don't feel good or find a really good spot to stop. I may just stop and then hit it in the morning. We'll see. Depends on how I feel. So anyway, I'm going to get hiking here. Uh, about 2.1 miles down is, uh, I believe it's called Newell Creek. Yeah, I'm going to stop there and have some breakfast and some coffee and just kind of take it easy and uh, then uh, assess what I'm going to do for the day. So anyway, <laughs> this has been a great trip. Very happy. So i uh, catch up with you later. This looks like my crossing. Better than some I've seen. Well, that's where I just came from. Across the creek. And now I have to get back all the elevation I gave back.
Well, just past the sign that said four miles to the lodge. I know that it's fairly close. I do know that I've got to drop down to a river and then I've got a thousand foot climb out and then I'm at the lodge. So kind of, kind of close, but still got a lot of work to do. So anyway, beautiful. I'm in the middle of the, I don't think this is a ski area anymore, but it's uh, got lots of meadows and it's just basically wide open so kind of cool so i'm gonna put this down get some miles and i'll check back with you in a bit all right back for a bit still walking and you know i was doing some thinking you got plenty of time to think out on the trail and i don't want to get too deep on this thing but take a little bit of time in your life to just think it's uh Puts things in perspective and um, it's just there's a lot of things that we uh, think are important that really aren't they may be important at the time but not really so not getting too deep here just take some time to think Cross that one with dry feet. Lock hopped. We got one more channel to go. Let's go check it out. This one's a muddy slurry of stuff on this channel. Yeah, we'll look around a little bit and figure out a good place to cross. Okay, almost to the lodge, and I came from right down there, right about in there is where I crossed, in there. Wow, climb, sandy climb, made it tough, but got a little bit more to go. Check back with you when I get back to the car. Music